Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone wherever you are. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today we are going to build a house inspired by the second generation of the not so berry challenge color rose or red. Is it obvious that I am kinda in love with the not so berry challenge? It's just a running theme on my channel for now since I I'm still playing with it too and it's a content. Anyways, I built this house in Oasis Springs in front of the Land Grab Mansion. I feel like she would love to live in front of the Land Grab Mansion and show off her wealth to and since she is a snob and a heartbreaker and also she is a politician so mm, maybe she is kind of curious about where the land grab wealth came from I always assume that our second generation is a she I'm sorry for that I mean, you can do anything you want, but uh, since my second generation is a she, so I'm gonna use that instead. Last night before I built this house, I drew a rough sketch of its floor plan. That's why it was easier for me to build. Story time. Since I already mentioned the layout thing, uh, back when I was at school, I mean junior high school, uh, our, our teacher once asked us to draw a layout of our dream kitchen so I did a top view floor plan of the kitchen that I wanted and then when I submitted it to her she was skeptical about me and and she actually asked me if I am the one who drew the project that I submitted to her and she was asking that maybe it, it was my dad who drew the project so I was kind of offended because I know my father is a hoarder of uh, real estate floor plan and I learned from everything that he is keeping the leaflets and there are a lot of floor plans there and I learned how to read floor plans because she, he talk, taught me to and I was like no I did that and I know how to draw that and I don't think she believed in me I mean why would you think about that that I mean she thinks that all the things that the students know are found in the school and I don't know it already happened to me before when I was in elementary it was a science subject and we were told to draw kinds of predator and prey things and I drew a snake and some animals and I submitted it and the teacher told me that it was my father who drew the art I mean I am talented I know that I'm kidding I'm not really uh, it's a skill I learned it and I love drawing and I love arts that's why I know some stuff also that, that is one reason why I know a bit of graphic design and then yeah she doesn't believe me again that I wasn't uh, she thinks that I wasn't the one who drew the project I mean why would I ask my father to do that if I can I mean I know how to draw I can even draw her 
So yeah, I don't think she believed me too and I don't know, I forgot. Uh, I think she gave me a decent amount of grade. Which is kinda unfair because I know I drew it on my own and if she doesn't believe me then fine. And then I went home and told my parents, my mom and dad about it and my dad told me that you should have told, I should have told, no, I should have replied, or I should have responded that I did that and I, and I should have volunteered to draw her, like in front of her and we just laughed and and yeah that was some experience so hmm. so that is my story time for today about the teachers who don't believe that their students are gifted and skilled and talented and don't think that their student can survive or learn things without them i mean it, school is not the only place to learn there are uh, after school activities where kids learn to I don't know play get some have learned teamwork and stuff like that and even drawing or painting or playing mu music I mean it I don't think playing music is taught in public schools especially in elementary or high school so yeah if you are a student of a public school, if you want to learn something, you really have to find a way to learn that because I don't think your school would actually waste money for that or fun for that. Um, at least in my country, that's how it works. So back in the build, yes, I placed a huge pool behi behind the, this uh, house and and I never, I did not put the picture of this, the front of the house because I don't think she is photogenic enough. Uh, she looks ugly, I think. I mean, she looks so minimalistic and her surroundings are bland and she is bland. So that's why I have uh, the interior as a thumbnail. Uh, I, I, I'm getting tired of speaking here. Anyways, I had fun with doing, playing with the platforms on that stair in front of, in, in the front yard. I think she, this house deserves a big, tall fence around, around it. And I, I haven't, I haven't given it. Also, the interior are all red and white and black because we have to stick in the theme. And I left the kids' room mm, yellow because that's the next generation. And I also realized that this house has only one bathroom, which are only accessible through the rooms. So I realized it so late, like it was already done and I don't know where else to put the bathroom or I don't know where else to put another entrance for the bathroom and since um, it is said that red will only, red or rose will only have one child so I just let it go, let it go like Elsa does. And I think it ended up cute and nice and modern. I think this modern, yeah, this is modern. And I think it ended up pretty well. Um, it's fun when you see your sketch turn into an actual 3D or yeah, in 3D. And maybe I will put somewhere in the screen the sketch that I was talking about. Since I finally run out of words to say, I am going to leave you at peace for now and watch. please watch until the end. Please watch until the end to see the final results and the final decorations and the final build.
I'll see you again in the next one. Thank you for watching and thank you for being with with me here today. Uh, tell me what you think about this build and about yeah let's have a conversation in the comments down below i can't wait to talk to you and i love talking to you guys thank you for all the support and the views and the, the time you spend watching this build um have a nice day stay safe wash your hands stay away from negative people and always laugh and don't forget to drink your water have a great day bye bye